It is 5.42 a.m. this morning as I record this, and it's one of those mornings where I just had to grab the phone, grab my microphone, and hit record, and and get back on it, and and let the stream of consciousness flow, get some content out, just get it, do it, throw caution to the wind. The last couple of episodes, if you listen to them, um, I was talking about, uh, you know, the motivation to put myself out there on podcasts, business-wise, in the new venture, you know, online marketing, was somehow a a call to ex-girlfriends or something like that. Right, which is very interesting. And in the last couple of episodes, I talked about how, hey, that's no longer uh, uh, one of the underlying motives, a lurking underlying motive. And it's very interesting because I all of a sudden was like, what am I going to talk about? What's pushing me forward here? And I had to come to terms with maybe I won't be doing five episodes a week right now. Maybe I got to let that go. Maybe as I find new motivation or that new pull forward to create content to record episodes, uh, I might, there might be a lull or a stall in my content creation and I needed to find acceptance around that and I have and I'm going to talk about that on this episode Uh, so listen in what a long intro I've done I seem to be a fan of super long intros right now but anyway listen in you know when someone is selling from stage and at the end the audience gets up and rushes to the back of the room to buy that's a table rush My name is Misha Z, and the Table Rush Talk Show is all about bringing you the tools, strategies, and tactics that you can use to grow your audience and inspire them to buy. Yeah, it's 5.45 a.m. as I record this. I just had to put a marker on this recording. I usually, when I go between the intro and the main episode... I put a big pause so then in uh, production you can just go to the big uh, where there's no sound spikes and it's easy to cut and edit from there. I forgot to do that. Anyhow, 5.45 a.m. A beautiful Sunday morning. No, it's not Sunday. Why did I say the day? It's a beautiful Encinitas morning. I'm out doing my walk super early and I will talk to, you know, finding new alignment forward for my content, but I do just want to give a couple of updates really quick because I haven't been as consistent with my uh, episodes. One, I'm pushing really hard to create an offer, to get an offer out. I'll talk about that on some episodes uh, coming up here shortly. But an offer, you know, to to the world, well, really to heart-centered entrepreneurs who, who want to go on a podcast tour, who want to go on an influence tour, uh, you know, starting by guest speaking on 50 podcasts in 100 days. So I've got my influence army. I've been teaching people how to, uh, you know, get on podcasts, interestingly, The bulk of the work has been teaching people how to get ready to teach on podcasts. Like there's a whole bunch of foundational upfront work that we should do to set us up for success. I'll save that for other episodes as well. But just suffice it to say, I'm about to reopen the doors to the Influence Army. And I'm putting together an offer, you know, to... uh, 
to let people into the community, to the family, the Influence Army community and family. And so I'm working hard on on just making an offer so I can have it in my funnels and landing pages and and all that. And anyway, I can talk about that on another episode. I made a bunch of t-shirts too. I'll talk about that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, t-shirts that say uh, bad Zuck on them. That's a whole other episode. And the the push to get these uh, t-shirts done and in my hands before Funnel Hacking Live. I'm about to go to Funnel Hacking Live and uh, I want to have my offer together, my t-shirts together so I can start spreading the word in a big way. Funnel Hacking Live, there'll be 6,000 of my best marketing friends all gathered together. So super excited. This will be the third year I'm going to Funnel Hacking Live. And I've always wanted to have t-shirts for Funnel Hacking Live, you know, to promote what I'm doing. Like you see people with their fun t-shirts and so I've had a goal to have t-shirts and uh, I'm fighting with Canva to get those t-shirts in my hand anyway. So those are some fun things that I'll be talking about, those processes, what's going on there. But um, yeah, finding the new poll forward and I love to ask myself the question what would I do if sorry that was a a uh, a bus just went by the Encinitas bus I'm on the 101 walking on uh, right by the ocean Uh, it's still dark the sun is getting ready to rise but it's a beautiful quiet morning lovely San Diego weather and uh, I thought, oh, I'll walk along the the ocean on the 101 because there'll be no traffic. Well, it turns out there's some traffic, so hang in there with me. But I like to ask myself the question, you know, what if I had nothing to prove? Uh, what if I had nothing to prove and I was just moving forward from pure service? That's the ideal not saying I'm doing that, but that is the ideal, to be just in a pure service to God, service to community, service to my fellow man mentality. I'd strip away all the ego, all the self-serving stuff. And it was purely just, hey, I'm here to help. God, how can I be of service? What would you have me do? How would you have me be? And you know, again, that's the ideal. And whenever I can get a little sideways, it's like, hey, am I trying to prove something here? Am I trying to win a following? You know, do I need looks, likes, all these kinds of things? Am I, is it validation that's pulling me forward? Or is it service? And a lot of times it's validation. Right, I'm trying to prove that I'm successful. I'm trying to prove that I can do this. I'm trying to prove that uh, I'm worthy. I guess that's a great way to say it, prove that I'm worthy. Um, Yeah, you know, it's, I've been off of the Facebook for, and the social media for coming on a couple months now. I haven't been posting and that can create its own insecurity like I'm falling behind I'm not posting enough I'm not building my following on the social media enough and and whenever I I sort of prowl around on the social media of course that's the messaging that I get you know Gary Vaynerchuk you got to be putting yourself out there on all the platforms all the time and Anyway, I find it incredibly freeing to be uh, free of the social media. And the good news is there's tons of influencers, online marketers, etc. that are successful without having to post all the time. And, you know, so I play with and I've found my success with going through fits and spurts of, of posting on the social media. It's like, I'll go dark for a month or two at a time. And then, you know, come back to life on social media a bit. 
if I've got some energy for that or some space for that or am prepared for that. It's like when I did my founding member launch to start the Influence Army, I had been off the social media for a couple of months and I was really nervous because I wasn't active on the social media and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this launch, this founding member launch for my Influ- Influence Army teach you how to guest speak on 50 podcasts in 100 days how to do all these things and but I hadn't been engaged so it was interesting I took a I just started (laughs) all I did was re-engage on the Facebook on the social media and Facebook's great it starts showing you history that you can post so I just started reposting some of the things then I started posting some new stuff then I did my founding member launch had great success with that and you know was active on social media for a couple months few months and then tapered off again and I think that that is a workable uh, a workable routine I think it's totally workable and every time that I disappear from the social media and then I re-engage. It's always super fun. People are glad to see me. You know, it's great uh, interaction, great engagement. So no need to panic there. But anyhow, you know, how can I serve? What if I had nothing to prove? And, and so it was very interesting to, you know, go through that situation where you know, hey, I, I saw the, the ex-girlfriend that my heart had been blown to bits from, you know, eight years ago, nine years ago, whatever it was. And to be like, oh my gosh, I'm free of that. And, and perhaps that, that bit of why I was putting myself out there being gone, I needed to find new alignment forward. And that's what I've been doing. And You know what, I'm going to do a a part two on this. Uh, So thanks for listening to part one here. Uh, Part two, we'll be talking about the realignment forward. Everybody, thank you for listening. Uh, Jump on my wait list, the Influence Army wait list, uh, because I'm about to reopen the doors and anybody on the wait list is going to get some special bonuses for being on the wait list. Love to all. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Table Rush Talk Show. For resources to help you sell your stuff, go to B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. That's B-Love dot media forward slash resources. And be sure to subscribe, comment, five star and share. Thank you again for listening.